The GoTrax Fusion is an electric scooter that can travel up to 18 miles per hour for 14 miles on a single charge. It has 8.5 inch pneumatic tires and a rear dual suspension for a comfortable ride. It folds easily for storage and has a lightweight design for easy carrying. The scooter has an LED display that shows the speed, battery life, and other information that you need to know. It also has EABS and a rear disc brake system for safety and picks up speed very quickly. Inside the box we have a user manual, all the tools you need for assembly and maintenance, as well as the charging brick and cable. And of course we have the scooter itself, which is actually very light in weight and it's almost fully assembled. Oh, nice beefy kickstand right here. Very simple to use, very sturdy. So it looks like the only part of assembly we need to take care of is attaching the handlebars to the stem. We can lift up the stem, latch it into place. All right, very strong. So to get the handlebars installed, we're gonna make sure the wire's connected. Feed it on into the stem and then shove the handlebars inside. We're going to need these four screws along with this Allen wrench. Place the screw inside the hole, twist it by hand, just get all four in there, two in the back and two in the front, just like that. And now we're going to tighten it up with our Allen wrench. And just like that, everything is solidly locked into place. All right, so now that we got it installed, let's take a look at some of the features we have here. So as you can see right here, we have our LED display, we're going to peel off the film. Nice. So over here on the right side, we do have our throttle along with the power button and a headlight button. So we're gonna hold down the power button and we have it powered on. We do have a bit of sunlight out here and we can still see the screen with ease. Up top, we do have our speedometer. By default, it's on miles per hour, which is great for me. Of course, we also have our speed mode, which we can toggle between by tapping on the power button. With a simple press, you can switch into sport mode, which is maxed out at the full 18 miles per hour. And with another press, you go back down to eco mode, which is limited to 15 and a half miles per hour. And then of course, down here on the bottom, we do have our battery indicator, and it looks like we have about 80% charge out of the box. Over here on the left side, we do have our all important brake lever, so you can come to a stop when you need to, as well as my favorite feature, the bell and then right here next to the bell we do have our little latch so when you fold it up you can easily carry it around so to fold it up it's actually a pretty simple process you basically just lift up this red lever and then pull this down just like so fold down the stem and you're going to line up this little piece right here to this red piece and it locks into place like so and as you can see, you can carry it. And like I said, it is very light in weight. So it's not really an issue if you have to carry it around. And then doing the exact opposite, it's gonna be very simple to unfold it. Simply flip this lever, pull it on up, and then lock it back into place. Now taking a look at the deck, it does have a nice honeycomb pattern and it is very grippy. However, it's not the widest deck I've ever seen, but it's definitely enough. I have pretty large feet. And as you can see, I fit on here you know, pretty much fine. Now over here on the back, this is actually pretty cool because it does say open here. If you open this flap, there's a little hole here that lets you install a seat if you happen to want to sit down while you're riding. As you can see, we do have the eight and a half inch pneumatic tires that are air filled. Right here is where you're going to fill up the air if you need to with the included attachment for the air compressor. And of course, the same thing going on in the back. And we obviously do have reflectors everywhere so people can see you at night. Now over here on the back, we do have a brake light that actually lights up once you hit the brake and it flashes to give people a red alert so they know that coming to a stop then over here on the front of course we do have our led headlight with a simple press of the button it turns on and another press will turn it off great for when you want to ride at night so with all that being said we got this thing assembled and set up it's time to take this thing for a ride okay very smooth and quick to pick up speed feels very good very stable Going over this debris very easily, no issues. Lots and lots of wind. Feeling great, woo! So now this is obviously gonna be pretty good because we're on a pretty smooth sidewalk, but right here we have a bit of a dirt path. So let's put this thing to an off-road test. Let's drop down this little drop off the sidewalk. Okay, very good. Now I wouldn't recommend this because there's basically no traction here on this dirt, but I mean, it's working if you have to. Just be careful. Very smooth, even though things are very bumpy. Let's get back onto the sidewalk. Okay, very good transition. Coming around this curve. Feeling good. Oh, lots and lots of wind. Curve on through here. All right, feeling nice. Okay, this is an obstacle course here. Slow down a bit. Lots of sand here, sand traps. Gotta go around. All right, and coming to a stop. 
very smooth stop, brakes work well. So what I can say about this GoTrax Fusion electric scooter is it's very lightweight and pretty compact. So you can carry it around with you if the battery happens to die or if you happen to go somewhere like a store where you're not allowed to ride it around through the store because you know the stores aren't fun. They don't want you to have a good time in there. They want you to walk around slowly, carry it around, get your stuff and leave. That's all they want. Anyways, that aside, the speed is actually very good. The motor picks up speed very quickly up to the maximum of 18 miles per hour and it is very smooth and quick. Very impressive with that. The deck size, although like I said, it's not the biggest deck in the world, it's still great, very grippy, and even though my feet are pretty big here, they fit on here without an issue, just like so. Very good, no problem right there. The LED display, you can see it just fine, even though we do have a lot of sunlight here, so no issues there, although to be fair, I'm not really paying attention to the screen that much, I'm looking forward to where I have to go. Headlight is a good brightness if you need to see where you're going at night, and I like how the tail light flashes when you come to a stop. And of course, my favorite feature, the bell so people can know when you're coming up behind them so they know to get out of the way all that being said scooter is very good easy to use quick and speaking of which i'm gonna go back for a ride get this wind Whee!